Hi, the doctor's in. I'm Dr. LB, and I'm here to help you through your math difficulties. Today, we look at some application problems involving nonlinear systems of equations. Let's look at the first problem. The sum of two numbers is 20, and their product is 96. Find the numbers. So the sum of two numbers, let's say x is a number and y is a number. Their sum is 20, and their product, x times y, is 96. So let's find x, and let's find y. If I take the second equation, and I solve for y, I have 96 divided by x. So let me go back and substitute that into my, second, in my first equation for y. So I have x plus 96 over x equals 20. If I multiply every term by x, I get rid of my fraction, and I have x squared plus 96 equals 20x. If I bring over my 20x, this expression factors to x minus 8 times x minus 12, so x is going to be 8, or x is going to be 12. So now let's go back and let's figure out y. If x is 8, then y is going to be 96 divided by 8, which is 12. And if x is 12, y is going to be 96 divided by 12, which is 8. So in either situation, the two numbers... are 8 and 12. Let's look at another one. The difference between the squares of two numbers is 5. Twice the difference, excuse me, twice the square of the second number is subtracted from three times the square of the first number. And that is 19. Find the two numbers. So the difference between the squares of two numbers is 5. So if I have a number x and a number y and I square it and I take the difference, that result is 5. 2 times the square of the second number subtracted from 3 times the square of the first number is 19. And let's find these numbers. Well, um, I can use elimination here. I can multiply my first equation by negative 2, and I can eliminate the y's. So I have negative 2x squared plus 2y squared equals negative 10. My first, excuse me, my second equation stays the same. When I add, I get x squared equals 9. So x is going to be plus or minus 3. So now I need to find y. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to solve for y. y squared is going to be x squared minus 5, so y is going to be plus or minus the square root of x squared minus 5. So let's look. When x is 3, y is going to be plus or minus. 3 squared is 9. 9 minus 5 is 4. The square root of 4 is 2. If x is negative 3, then y is going to be plus or minus. Negative 3 squared is 9. 9 minus 5 is 4. The square root of 4 is 2. So we have several different combinations that can happen here. The numbers are, it can be 3 and 2. You can have 3 and negative 2. 
you can have negative 3 and 2 or you can have negative 3 and negative 2. So remember that Dr. LB is always in. Please come back for more math help.